uh, welcome to visually understanding quantum computing series and as you can see uh, uh, there are already four videos in the series and I have told you everything uh, that you would need to know uh, to start with your actual journey that we will be starting today and uh, today you will be learning your first single qubit gate and uh, I will tell you the mathematics uh, that goes behind it as well as uh, I will tell you uh, try to help you visualize uh, quantum that quantum gate and uh, using this tool uh, that I call quantum glasses and if you want to get it for yourself you can watch this uh, first video in the series and uh, it will guide you to get the github link so you can just download and uh, you know create a virtual environment and just run the file right so with that said uh, let's get to today's video uh, without any delay so today we will be talking about quantum superposition and quantum superposition is uh, one of the most fundamental uh, principles in quantum computing and it's really really important and that's the reason uh, I have chosen it first so let's go so this is how you actually represent quantum superposition uh, mathematically right and I have already explained you in this in one of the previous weeks uh, and I also told you that these alpha beta are complex numbers and stuff right so something new is this equation that you can see here which is uh, commonly known as bonds so what does this signify we tell you that so this alpha square here that you can see actually uh, gives the probability of this quantum state psi collapsing into zero ket upon measurement and similarly as you might have just guessed uh, this beta square here uh, gives the probability of this uh, psi uh, collapsing into state 1 upon the measurement and uh, of course uh, these two probabilities uh, add to 1 and that's bond rule at its simplest alright so now let's get to the header market so it was all theory of quantum superposition and uh, how do you actually achieve this superposition in quantum computing right so the symbol of uh, head armor gate when applied in a quantum circuit uh, looks something like this right and this is the matrix that you can see on your screen that actually represents the head armor gate or the quantum superposition operation so let's uh, take uh, one or two uh, examples so you can understand it mathematically how it works right so let's say we apply head amard gate uh, to a qubit with the in uh, with in the initial state of zero ket right and so how do you mathematically work this out so just substituting the head amard gate matrix uh, in place of the uh, edge that you can see and then of course uh, you already know what is zero ket and writing the corresponding vector and if you just work out that simple mathematics of uh, matrix multiplication this is what you actually get right so let's carry forward this to next slide so uh, here we are and now let's write this more creatively so let's note that we can just separate this uh, matrix into uh, two, uh, uh, this vector into two uh, is the sum of these two vectors right and uh, the question is why we are doing it right so if you carefully observe it uh, this is nothing but zero cat and one cat so what we are trying to do is just represent the oper operation and the direct notations so because that's how it goes in quantum computing you just try to stick with the standards and this particular state uh, of superposition is actually represented as plus state and we are uh, and don't worry I will just show you uh, the visualization of this particular state and I also have a little homework for you that you it's a pretty fun exercise there for you and uh, let's take one more example 
So let's apply the header mod gate to one cat, right? You know that zero cat and one cat are the two basis states, right? So let's apply it to one cat. And if you do that, you just start with the same uh, way, uh, substituting the matrix uh, and vector for header mod and one cat. Then you carry out the multiplication, matrix multiplication, very obvious. Now again, we separate it, right? To write it in the direct notations, we uh, separate the obtained vector into these two other vectors that you can see here. Now, again, we substitute the direct notations for the two vectors. And this particular state is different from the previous one. And uh, this negative sign uh, that you can see here, that's the reason. And uh, this is written as minus k. So these are two uh, basic superpositions. And uh, a little homework for you that I want you to do uh, to, you know, just to carry out a little mathematics that try to apply superposition on any of these two states, plus state or the minus state, and see what you get. And I will already uh, uh, show you visually what happens when you do that. So you can interpret uh, what really happens. And uh, in the next week, I will try to uh, tell you the importance of that. So, and that will be pretty fun. And it will, I will also help, help you to recall and uh, give you the solution to it, right? So with that said, I think it's time to move our, uh, to our uh, visualization app, right? Let's get here. Okay, so this is the code and uh, I have a separate video on how to build this app. So if you are just interested, you can check it out. So, all right. So initially, all the qubits uh, are usually are in zero cat, right? So for the first condition, what you can do is just press the header mod gate and that's it. And you can just click on visualize. And when you do that, you can see the block sphere will pop up here and you can see from zero cat the vector started so initially the qubit was here in the uh, zero cat state and it has to slowly started moving from there and you will slowly see that it, it will end up here right yeah so this state that you see here is actually the plus state and uh, let's get to the minus state now so i will just do i will just clear this and now what i will do i will use x gate so x is used uh, is the bit flip gate and i will just tell you it in more detail in the next week but just note note that uh, it will change the zero cat state to one cat state so after you have applied this the state has changed of uh, the uh, state of the qubit has changed and now I can apply the header mod gate so now I can visualize it and uh, if you see it started from here and still moving it will take some time and I really hope you get your quantum glasses for yourself so that you can experiment uh, yourself with the uh, different states, right? Just play around with it. And you will soon see that it will end up here. Uh, completely uh, at the, the uh, angle of 180 degrees to that plus state uh, over here. And you will see uh, uh, it stop. If you see here, these are the two opposite states. The one here is actually the plus state, and the one here is the minus state. All right, and this is the block sphere. And uh, let's talk about your homework, right? So clear. So let's say uh, you you are trying to apply it on the uh, the header mod gate on the plus state, then it will be just like the first header mod will 
bring the qubit to the plus state, right? And then you will be applying one more header one, right? So let's visualize and see what happens. So it starts from zero cat. So that's very obvious. We know that the uh, applying one header mart brings the quantum state here on the plus state, right? We know that. We have already seen that. So let's see what happens. Uh, what's the effect of that second header mart? And uh, we, have, we have to wait. Let's go slowly. You can see the arrow is moving. It did not stop here this time. Obviously, there should be some effect of a second header mark. And and you can see it just came back here to zero k. So the second header mark actually nullified the effect of the first header mark. And in the next week, uh, I'll tell you uh, the mathematical importance of that. And uh, let's see what happens uh, when you apply the header mark to the minus state. So this was our minus state, one uh, x gate and the second header mark gate. And now let's add one more header mark to it. And now let's click on visualize. So let's see what happens. You can see it's still the effect of x going on here. First, it will return to one cat. And uh, then we will see the effect. Then it should return over here. We know that that's the minus state. But it will be interesting to see what happens next. What will be the effect of that second header mark that we have applied? It's still that effect of the first header mark that you are seeing on the screen. Now it has moved here. It did not stop here as we would just expect. And, uh, let's see where it stops. I think you might have just guessed it by now. And yes. So as you can see, it is stopped on one cat. So again, the same thing happened. The second header mark nullified the effect of the first header mark. And since we had applied the NOT gate initially, so the state of the qubit added up again in the one cat, right? So that's it uh, in this video. And uh, I'll see you next time. And uh, in the next time, before starting with the other gates, I will tell you the importance and the mathematical aspect of this effect that you have seen. And I just hope you try out other things uh, with the uh, quantum glasses. And uh, until then, take care.